I grew up in a suburb of Memphis called Cordova. I did gymnastics from the age of four. So I basically spent all my time in the gym, like working out and learning new skills and stuff. All my friends were like my teammates and stuff like that. So I guess I just developed a lot because I spent so much time doing it um, and I loved it a lot. It was January 10th, 2012. I was in seventh grade, I was 13 years old. It was a really like ordinary day, um, nothing special about the practice. I was doing my like normal routine that I had done like a hundred times on the uh, uneven bars and I just made a small mistake and fell and um, broke my back and injured my spinal cord and it took a long time for me to really like realize or understand how serious it was but I knew that it was pretty bad and I knew that I was in, I was in pain. I was taken to the hospital that night and stayed in the hospital in Memphis for 10 days and then went to a rehabilitation center in Atlanta called the Shepherd Center for five weeks. Once I got to the Shepherd Center, everything was very structured and I was kept very busy every day because I had a lot to learn about like dressing myself and bathing myself and getting around and like using a wheelchair and stuff like that. There were other patients on my floor that were like kind of going through the same thing. So that was a cool experience. I think that's taken just a lot of time to get over. I've told one of my basketball teammates that coming here and doing basketball is kind of like the final remedy for like not being able to do gymnastics anymore because it really does take time for me to get used to not being able to do it anymore and I you know missed it so much in the beginning. That kind of went away as time went on but like really having something else to replace it helps so much. In the back of my head I really wanted to go somewhere where I could possibly do adaptive sports. So it was always like an idea to go to Alabama. And I feel like it all happened really fast because I came, I got in introduced to the tennis coach. I met him first and talked to him about starting tennis. And then I met the basketball coach and talked to him about starting basketball. And then everything just kind of happened really fast. So I started going to basketball practices, starting going to tennis practices. And then I went to basketball tournaments and spent so much time with these girls on the basketball team. And I've really grown close to some of them. And these people are my family now. It's really beneficial to have, like to be surrounded by people that are similar to me in that way. I feel like that's something that was sort of missing in my life the past like six years when I was at home after I left the rehab hospital. So it's really cool to have that back. You know, it's just like a immediate bond that you have with someone when you've been through something like that. So it's cool. I'm really so thankful to have come here at the time that I did. It worked out better than I could have imagined because like I said I wasn't sure at all if I'd be able to get involved in sports and now I'm like full-time playing two sports and it's great.